Hello everyone, my name is Arsh Sharma and I'm a student at NIT Hamirpur, India and today I'll be talking about increased code creativity harmony in Javas. So the need for harmony between code and creativity comes from the fact that most existing frameworks in Julia rely heavily on data and there is no abstract way of creating different shapes and animating them without writing lots of boilerplate. And Javis solves these issues by providing powerful animation tools and functions. And this talk features some of the work that I have been doing this summer to make the relationship between code and creativity more harmonious. So the first feature we will be talking about is layers. As you all know, most uh, tools like Photoshop, Gimp, Gimp and Inkscape follow a layer-based approach towards objects on the canvas. And we wanted to implement something similar in Javis. So objects in Javis can be independent or a part of a layer. They Layers help us establish context and allow for independent manipulations to both the object and the layer. And this results in the fact that we can apply actions to objects as well as layers. And Finally, layers can also define their own properties such as their own background color, their own size and their own, own frame range in the video. So this is what the syntax for uh, Javis layer looks like. Um, uh, the first we have uh, the frame range as a required argument and uh, the width, height and the uh, uh, center point of the layer are optional arguments. And all the declarations for objects that are supposed to be declared for that layer come within the begin and block uh, for that layer declaration. The process for applying actions to a layer is something similar to how we do it for an object. And in the right side, you can see uh, what this code results in. Um, so the motion of these planets is a layer and we are able to translate it while animating these objects. Um, so uh, having layers brings in two additional steps to the rendering process. Uh, initially, uh, we used to simply render the entire canvas containing all the objects. But now that we have layers, we first render uh, the individual layers and save them as image matrices. Then we create an empty canvas and we apply each layer's action uh, to it and we place all the layers uh, as image matrices on that empty canvas. And so uh, if you see in the image on the right hand side, we have two layers, uh, one with a yellow background and one with a grayish background and they both have their animations uh, going on inside them and they have been rendered and placed on the main canvas and finally if we have any independent objects uh, it, it it first renders them and then finally places the, the canvas uh, containing all the layers created in step two on the main canvas the next feature that we will be talking about is live streaming so what we want is after we have created our animation, we want to share it in a much more flexible and expressive fashion. So uh, this feature allows for uh, two more ways to share uh, our animations. One is uh, streaming directly to one's twitch.tv, which is a work in progress. And second up is streaming to a local network. So uh, for creating a live stream, uh, we need to create a stream config, which is a simple method. Uh, and for, for Twitch, it takes in uh, the Twitch symbol and a stream key from uh, the Twitch stream key. For a local stream, uh, we just need to pass uh, a local uh, symbol and, si and then simply pass the stream config to the render function. So uh, features about live streaming. Uh, live streaming is an asynchronous process. It makes use of the async macro uh, built into Julia 
to free up the Julia shell while the live streaming in, is in progress. Uh, in, uh, in case of local stream, uh, a local stream can be viewed by any tools like OBS, VLC or FF Play that support reading from a, a, a local uh, network. And the streaming process can be killed by a cancel stream method. So on the right hand side, uh, we can see uh, uh, how a local stream can be captured in OBS. Uh, so if we stream something from Javis, the animation uh, uh, can, uh, OBS captures the animation for that address and uh, starts playing it instantaneously. So the next feature uh, that we have is convenience methods. Um, for the ones familiar with Javis, you must have uh, felt that the uh, syntax for declaring an object is a little bit intimidating because uh, we declare an anonymous function inside the object, as you can see on the right hand side. So this sort of defeats the purpose of Javis as a tool with better grammar and rich abstractions for beginners. So we end up creating shorthand methods to define these general functions. Uh, we also extend luxurious default shapes such as line, circle, rectangle, polygon, etc. to make way for better metadata handling. And um, we introduce a new macro called JShape, uh, which takes in multiple expressions to emulate complex uh, anonymous functions. So, for example, our anonymous function uh, has circle uh, or a line or many other declarations inside it. So we can wrap all of it inside a begin and block inside the JShape macro to create abstract shapes as a single object. The convenience method for other basic shapes uh, are uh, pretty simple. We have JLine, JRect and uh, similarly other objects that uh, uh, take in their respective arguments. So on the right hand side, you can see a square being transformed into a circle. This is exactly what morphing is. Currently, this is a single step transformation where the final object is not a different object. So I cannot really animate uh, the circle, translate it or change its color after it has been morphed. What we also want to do is support different behavior of morphing. So on the right hand side, you can see an extract from Manim, which is uh, an animation engine written by 3Blue1Brown or Grant Sanderson. So here's a summary of what all I've been working on this summer and I'm excited to hear your suggestions and feedback uh, as to how we can improve these features further. And finally, I would like to thank these people for their constant help, support and motivation. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day.